So it's a Sunday afternoon and I've just popped into Highbridge uh, Caravans here at Team Grace uh, and I'm just going to have a little rip round and see what stock they've got like I normally do just for a change, you know, look at some motorhomes and uh, basically the first one I'm going to have a look at is this 69 platelet Swift Contiki 635 it's a 2019 and this is an 8 metre motorhome and they want 80 grand for it so uh, let's just have a little uh, look round and see what the crack is. Got a super sized garage in the back of it. I don't know if this is actually open. Oh, it is open. Right, okay, look at the size of this garage. So we've got a awning winding handle in the back there. We have a spare wheel that looks like it's never been fitted. It's a brand new tire and wheel there. And Let's just have a little look. Yeah, got a cigarette lighter plug in the back here. Just kind of a random, looks a little bit uh, like it could do with a sweep out. But um, you know what motorhomes are like. Another door the other side. Let's have a look. Tell you what, let's open the uh, door the other side. I'm just going to have a look around the, have a look at the back end of it. Yeah, so there's access on the other side. Looking right the way through. Superb size uh, garage. Anyway, that's a good start. Let's get inside and have a look. All right, let's have a little uh, look in here. Caroline's just said to me, "There's." I popped in. I was hoping there was going to be one here, a, a new Adria. She spotted one around the, the back there somewhere. So I'm going to go and check that out in a minute. But um, so, yeah, in we come to this uh, Contiki. Let's see what it's all about in here then. For a second-hand moho. And this has got a manual gearbox, six-speed manual gearbox on the Fiat chassis. And I'm just checking out that term. It's got that nice finish again on the dash. It looks quite nice. I do uh, like the uh, the finish on that, uh, that like bronzy effect. Yeah, all the Remis uh, lines. Look, checking around the front. I'm just going to sweep round now. Let's have a look down through this motorhome, see what it's all about. So this has got the uh, the big lounge, got a table, and um, got seating on the uh, the right hand side here, and it's got uh, a couple of seat belts there that I can see. It's all like belted there, look. So that's all nice. And let's have a look on up through. Let's have these cupboards open these cupboards, see what storage they got. Cupboard there. Are they all like that where they, oh, it's sort of like you gotta, mine, mine would stay open. Mine would stay up. Just a bit of a, bit of tension, maybe a bit of adjustment on that one there. Yeah, oh yeah, he does. Yeah, right up. There you go, some storage in the lounge. What are these then? Little, uh, little uh, storage compartments up there. Oh yeah, a little uh, storage up there uh, on a uh, zip kind of system. Got a super sized skylight at the front, and we've got some nice Kenwood speakers up here in the uh, in the top. A rinse round again, and uh, right, so we've got a full uh, Dometic oven and hob. There's a big sink. I don't know what's going on here. They got uh, got the front off the fridge, <laughs> but uh, yeah. So I uh, don't know what that's all about. Dometic. So uh, do they take them off? I don't know. But um, microwave up there. Got the um, the big bed. Makes up into the super size with these big cushions. These these uh, Duvalet um, cushions are pretty smart. I don't know if they're are they standard in these um, Swift Contikis. <laughs> So uh, I'm checking out the back of this. It looks really nice with this sort of window in the back end. The first time I've really sort of noticed it, probably because it's so light in here. But um, yeah, quite a nice um, outlook. It makes it look quite uh, quite light in the back end here. So yeah, there we go. Let's. Um, what am I looking at here? Wardrobe. Got all the carpets in there as well. So let's just have a look at this. Um, so we've got the Swift um, splashback above the sink. Just checking out these little cupboards up here. Plenty of storage, a couple of holders up there, plate rack in over the top there. Got an extractor fan 
and uh, yeah let's see what uh, the storage is down here like then that's a little cutlery drawer up there we've got an extra one down there for quite a nice uh, kind of drawer and then bigger oh there we go oh like a slide out that's quite nifty that's quite neat two of them that uh, they come right out look with your pans fair enough Fair enough. There we go. There's a little TV bracket down there. There's one up the back end here as well for the bedroom area. Just have a look in the bathroom then, see what it's like in here. We've got uh, skylights right down through. Looks like this thing could do with a super duper joss wax clean. Look at all the, a um, lot of debris on these, uh, but obviously it probably go through their uh, valet shop before it goes out. But uh, let's have a little look in here then. So there we go, there's the bathroom, shower. It's got the Audi heating, see the radiator styly here, bit of storage under there. And then we're coming up to this uh, cabinet up on the, uh, on the side there, bit of storage up there, a few bits and bobs. It looks quite clean, I must admit. In here it looks, um, and it smells quite fresh. Sometimes you go in some of these motorhomes and it can get a bit uh, a bit stale, but this smell was quite nice. So um, there's the big shower, it looks quite nice. So yeah, there we go. I think I'm gonna go and uh, check out this Adria, but uh, this is the, um, the Contiki anyway that they've got here. If anybody wants to um, come and have a browse. Just having a look at the bodywork outside. It's all pretty, uh, pretty straight. Not too bad. Just needs a really good clean. It's a very nice clean. But uh, 2.3, 150 brake horse. 